All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Aaron Swigett, meteorologist here at the Raleigh, North Carolina office for the routine weekly briefing. Uh, we'll be covering uh, the, the time period from April 29th through May 5th, so that's Monday through Sunday. And uh, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So we have the uh, upcoming weather pattern here for Central North Carolina. Uh, for the key points here, just wanted to start off by saying we're gonna have pretty much an extended period of unseasonably warm temperatures. And that's really starting today as temperatures start to rise into the low to mid 80s. And for the most part, we'll kind of hang out relatively within that range. We start, may start to creep into the uh, uh, mid, uh, even upper 80s, some isolated 90s possible uh, in some isolated spots as we progress through the week. Uh, but for the most part, uh, unseasonably warm temperatures uh, will be the uh, the, the main theme through this time period. Uh, we will have a little disturbance that'll track over the area uh, Tuesday into Wednesday, and that'll bring some light rain. Um, for the most part, some showers, uh, widely scattered showers into some uh, isolated thunderstorms will be possible with this. Um, guidance is kind of all over the place on particular locations, um, but for the most part, we should see equal chances anywhere between, I'd say 20 to 40% chance. Um, during that time period and Tuesday, late Tuesday, maybe a lull overnight, and then a redevelopment potential uh, Wednesday, early Wednesday into the afternoon time frame. Um, and then we'll have a little bit of a lull again um, late week, uh, but this cold front down here in the bottom left-hand panel uh, that's kind of draped through the uh, Mississippi Valley down into Texas, uh, that will be approaching us this weekend uh, in a weakening state as it gets into our area, but may provide some focus for some showers and isolated thunderstorms as well. 30 to 40% chance during that time frame. And unfortunately, that does fall uh, right in the middle of the weekend, unfortunately. Uh, but we'll keep an eye on that and provide some um, greater temporal details as we get a little bit closer there. All right, so uh, I mentioned showers and thunderstorms. Well, what's the severe potential? Uh, really not really expecting any kind of severe potential at this time, uh, but just uh, the general thunder uh, risk you can see in the light green there, Tuesday and into Wednesday. So this Tuesday is mainly going to be in the west uh, during the day, uh, and then the uh, outlook just kind of extends over the rest of the area overnight. But again, we may see a, a lull, at least in the thunder potential overnight, maybe at least just some showers um, for the area. And then Wednesday, um, showers early, maybe in the mid to late morning time frame, and then uh, the development of potentially some uh, widely scattered uh, showers and thunderstorms uh, Wednesday. And we're not expecting anything severe at this time. Okay, let's go ahead and look at uh, rainfall totals. We're starting to get into that time period uh, of the year, uh, of the season, where you kind of have the paintball scattering of um, uh, rainfall total. So you can see some places down across uh, potentially the uh, central Carolinas where on Tuesday here, I'm kind of circling my cursor, hopefully you can see that there, uh, where you have some of the blues, some isolated totals of up to you know one to one and a half inches while areas around it may see much less. So we're starting to get to that time frame where you may be hit and miss kind of showers and thunderstorms, uh, typical of a summertime pattern. Uh, but you can kind of see the area focused mainly in the west on Tuesday into early Tuesday morning, and then a redevelopment uh, Wednesday morning into the afternoon period, mostly focused in the east of the coastal plain, east of Raleigh into the coastal plain on Wednesday. And looking at the rest of these panels, for the most part, um, Tuesday into Wednesday is really the only thing we have to look at through Friday with the um, some chances again on the weekend. So the five-day total is that uh, total encompassing of Tuesday and Wednesday there. And mainly for the most part across our area, very light amounts, but some isolated amounts of higher totals, maybe around an inch or so, uh, will be possible down across the Sand Hill, Southern Piedmont kind of area where thunderstorm development will be most likely. Okay, given those um, isolated uh, amounts and overall light accumulations, uh, we're not expecting any kind of flash flooding concerns with this round of um, showers and thunderstorms, Tuesday and Wednesday. And then just a reminder, if you missed it uh, on Thursday, this is the, the drought update. Uh, for the most part, uh, not a whole lot changed, maybe just an expansion across the Northeast Piedmont there. Um, uh, the, and this, this graphic is uh, courtesy of the, our friends over at the climate, uh, climate Office. 
And uh, I did want to highlight the one thing that I found interesting in here is that they mentioned that for now, uh, the drier weather has actually been positive for uh, farmers as uh, uh, some of their planting is actually ahead of schedule uh, on their five-year average pace. So that was kind of interesting to see. Uh, but we're starting to see this expansion of the abnormally dry uh, continuing over this time period and with uh, overall not necessarily many uh, higher accumulations, um, we'll most likely see that trend continue. Okay, well, how about uh, farther out into early to mid-May? Uh, we are going to see start to see um, some um, above normal temperatures here. And uh, I did want to highlight here down across the bottom, our normal temperatures for Greensboro, Raleigh, Fayetteville are in the mid to upper 70s. So when you start to see the above normal, uh, temperatures, you're going to start to see temperatures above, you know, the mid to upper 70s. So starting to get into the 80s uh, when you start to see these above normal uh, temperatures here. So kind of keep that in mind that the uh, the average is continuing upward as we're approaching uh, the uh, summer months. Um, they did highlight here a, a slightly leaning towards above normal precipitation chances heading into mid to late May. So hopefully that um, uh, comes true as we can maybe put the a slowdown on the uh, very dry conditions that we've had over the past maybe week or so. All right, here's our little uh, experimental gra uh, graphical hazardous weather outlook. Um, highlighting here mainly just the thunderstorm chances. So we have that Tuesday into Wednesday and then late Friday and then Saturday into Sunday um, chances for um, thunderstorms there. But that's really the only thing we're looking at for the most part. And the summary here, again, uh, starting in an unseasonably warm period uh, that is going to continue into the weekend. And two chances really for some showers and thunderstorms, main one being Tuesday into Wednesday, and then a secondary uh, chance uh, as a cold front approaches uh, Saturday into Sunday.